Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we are in the final day and the final session of uh, the India 2010. And uh, though we have started with a uh, very few number of audience, now we have a quite number of audience. And let me tell you, I've been in uh, India and in Asia from 2006 to 2010. And today I was humbled and privileged to uh, listen to four presentations up to now. And in my uh, opinion, those are some of the brilliant ideas that I have ever come across in e India. So after this session, I would like to uh, discuss and transfer and share knowledge with all of you. Please, so I'm, I'm extending my uh, invitation. OK, um, if I were to uh, present what I have planned uh, one week back for this particular session, uh, it would have been seen by you as if uh, that I have copied from some of the speakers in these three days. So last evening, I changed the presentation. In fact, I, I completely uh, uh, made a new presentation because I, I saw a gap in here. And some of the issues have been uh, you know, uh, raised by you, but I will put some, shed, uh, uh, put some light into that. So the session is knowledge sharing among telecenter stakeholders. Right, so I will get into the definition of knowledge sharing first. What is knowledge sharing? It's a verb. And according to Wikipedia, when I browsed last night, knowledge sharing is an activity. I repeat, activity through which knowledge, information, skills, or expertise is exchanged among people, friends, or members of a family, a community, or an organization. OK, knowledge sharing is done. Then we'll go to the telecenter stakeholders. Now in this, you will see uh, the map of the knowledge and the stakeholders in a telecenter atmosphere. Uh, if, if starting from here, we have the social investment, where the governments and the PPPs and the, all the things that we have discussed would come from here to service providers to the telecenter networks. So we invest so much of time and money on telecenter networks, and the networks would have services back in, business and technical support, social supply chain, peer learning, reference desk, local content sharing, and network access. A lot of things happening in there. And the service providers come up with support service for network, curriculum learning programs, rural healthcare remittances, and there will be more services to come up. And then, these telecenter networks uh, goes to the local telecenter champions, like the one you had, and they go to the community with the impact. Now, if we really look at it, in this stakeholders and the knowledge that is scattered here, all that who have come to e India this time would be covered. So all of us are stakeholders in this. Now, then the question comes, what knowledge do they need? They means the stakeholders. What knowledge do they need? So knowledge sharing is, by definition, is an evolving process. So I present you something. And then I listen to somebody else in the next moment, it will evolve. So this is like quite complex. We have multiple cultures. We have multiple technologies. We have multiple languages. On top of that, if we look at it as a funnel, we have loads of information and knowledge coming in here. If you go into the exhibition area, you will find interactive whiteboards with different brand names and different features. And if you just go through that, you will get, oh my god, what do I buy? And even if you don't want to buy, you will buy it. I have a good experience with my wife. My wife is a teacher in the leading school in Sri Lanka. And she says that they have an interactive whiteboard, and they never use it. And, and the technology is there. Now, for, for, for us to be uh, agile in this competitive world, we have to be flexible, adaptable, and speedy. So in, instead of share knowledge, I would ask everybody to share meaning of what you do. This is simply answering two questions. Why do I exist? And why does my organization exist? It's not about objectives. It's not about goals. Just question yourself. Why do I exist? Why, 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 why until you get the answer? Example, my organization is Fusion. Now, if I, if I tell you the knowledge part of it, this is in our website. Fusion is a leading information, communication, and mobile technology for development social enterprise in Sri Lanka. 
It is a specialized program of Sarvodaya, the 52-year-old national charity with a mission seeking e-empowerment of communities. Wow, you would say. You seem to do in a lot of good work. That is that. Then onwards, you can't engage with me. Am I right? But if you really look at what the meaning of fusion is, for me, this is the question I have asked repeatedly, and this is what fusion does. Reduce cost of ICT education. Improve quality of education, engage in standardization of telecenter education demanded by employers. Now, you can question now. Now, you can question me. Are you not delving into two extremes, the cost and the quality? Isn't that impossible? Then I would say, no, it is possible, and that's the meaning of fusion. How we do it? Make learning a fun activity. Three years back, uh, we were confronted. Uh, we did the... Uh, the project with the telecenters in Sri Lanka, and all those telecenters had a pressing need, and that was the courses offered by them, although they were in, in same category, same content, the student going to a telecenter would receive 600 different certificates. So they demanded the most demanded courses to be available and standardized. And what we have done was to think of it as a product instead of a project. Now, the stakeholders, I started with tertiary and vocational education commission. And when I go there and talk about telecenters, they said that I mean, it is not possible to do that because they are never going to be training centers. But today, a lot of franchise operations are happening there. And what, what we did was to get these centers registered somehow, at least two or three. And then get a resource pool from UNICEF more to it. Information and Communication Technology Agency was already there because they, they are the major stakeholders of telecenters in the country. And uh, we had Microsoft and HSBC in the private sector coming in with uh, CSR. And the telecenters, government, NGO, private, and students. Look at the stakeholders in this list. So the knowledge that is required by each of the stakeholders are different. So we have to package it, and we have to create meaning for each and every one of them. So product instead of project thinking. What we did was to have a course book provided by Fusion at a fee. So each of the students would have a course book. And then the telecenter operator would do the training, and they get the training fee. So win-win solution. We do an online seminar one month before the examination. This online seminar is done through Skype by a university lecturer in Colombo, and he will Skype all the telecenter, uh, telecenters in the country that is networked through us, and the, and the students will be hooked by that. But when we thought of having an online seminar, we were like stuck. What are the uh, video conferencing facilities we should make? And then one of the team members and a and few of the students there told that Skype would, be, Skype, Skype would be it. Why not we give a try? I said, yes. And still, we are using Skype. And to think about is technology, the cost is very minimal. And then the next product is that we give a theory exam, which is paper-based, and a practical exam online, and the results online. And then finally, a certificate award ceremony in Colombo annually. So, because all the people up to here is in a rural setting, and they are facing the examination by their own, in their own locality, in their telecenters, at the end of the year, the certificate award ceremony in Colombo, and they will be appreciated. So, this is, this is the meaning of fusion, and this is the theory examination that is happening in. And how the telecenter create meaning in their society is that what you see here is a school. The theory examination, the papers are delivered in the school. So the examiner is either the school principal or a reputed school teacher. So that makes sure that the, the stakeholders of the communities are involved, and they make sure that the, indicates the examination is held fairly. So the, 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 the responsibility of fairness has been transformed into the community. And this is the Skype conference. You can't see the lecturer, but these students are rocking uh, flocking into a computer, and they shoot their questions and get the answers. And this is another solution provided by a telecenter operator. Instead of having uh, uh, one at a uh, PC, uh, he has installed a, a projector, and now he can see so many people, so many students getting the benefit. And they are shooting questions to the uh, university lecturer, and that is a very interactive process. These are zero-cost technologies, what I'm talking about. And we give them certificates, and we give them awards to the topmost students. 
and they come all the way from their villages with busloads with their parents to Colombo to be awarded by the university, uh, university or the government officials that they, the stakeholders we have. And this is the award ceremony. And this is the meaning that we have. And these are the telecenter operators in the district that are creating the meaning in their communities who have become the heroes. And this is, uh, these, these are the students who have been graduated. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the social enterprise manager. And this, this girl, I have uh, personally gone to her home to, to actually uh, see what is happening in the ground. And she said that, I, I was quite surprised, she said that she got employment in a preschool as a teacher, IT teacher, in English medium. I was surprised. And even the, even the teacher was surprised in their locality. She, he didn't know about that. And she said that, then I asked if she didn't have the certificate even yet. And she said, it didn't matter because I was so confident about the system. And uh, that employer has recognized that. So I, I, I got the inspiration from that. The confidence in the students will make sure that the communities will have livelihood and it will create more employment. And then I asked the telecenter operator, because he's the teacher, now his student is creating another competition to him. I asked, what would happen to you? She's in the same locality now. He said, I would find more opportunities. Because she will bring in more opportunities to me as well, because we can, we can be in harm, harmony. So that is the meaning that we create. And most importantly, I want to share is that we work with the community, and we go to the community and get their requirement, and we only provide their requirement. And this is a telecenter in, uh, uh, in a district. And most importantly, this telecenter is like a school now. They have their own uniforms. And because they have their uniforms, the, the community is protecting themselves because they know they are in the, in the telecenter. So imagination is more important than knowledge. That was said by Albert Einstein. So I request you to share meaning instead of share knowledge. Thank you very much for your time.